Hey, hi friends, this is Bakappa. In this Easy Repro Automation Framework tutorial series, I will discuss how to execute your script on different browsers. I will navigate to the Visual Studio ID now. So suppose, for example, uh, firstly I will discuss from which class actually the driver is getting invoked. So there is a class called driver factory that means uh, full name of that class is browser driver factory you can open this class and from this this particular method that means the create web driver which will return the i web driver type basically at the end right if you look at line number 26 it is creating the Chrome driver and in the line number 31 it is creating the IE driver. So based on the browser type it is going to return create and returns uh, returns as the browser object basically. So for example if you want to update the profile or Chrome options or Firefox profile or edge options. So you need to go to the this particular method that is a to Chrome or to Internet Explorer. So similarly for other browser also we have a method called to followed by the browser name. So you can navigate to that particular method. So I will show you with an example of Chrome browser. So where you can actually modify the profile if in case if you are interested to modify or add or delete the chrome options so i will go to the, this to chrome method so this is where we have included whenever browser is launched so basically we will maximize it so this is where we are passing the argument and also it has to be launched in in a in cognitive mode private mode right so this is where we are specifying it. Similarly, you can add a number of arguments for the Chrome browser. That is for the to Chrome method. So similarly, for, similarly, we have a methods for the different browsers. If you come down here, you can see to Internet Explorer and then to Firefox. So inside this particular method, you can specify the arguments, whatever is required for your project. So if I come down, so here is the edge options. So here I have specified one is a uh, in private. That means uh, our script will execute in in private mode. And second one is the headless. So these are the two parameters we have passed on to the edge options so that's all about the browser so you can basically whenever there is a need you can come to this particular class and you can update it so i will close this particular class now so now this now let's discuss where you have to specify the browser name so that your script will execute on that particular browser so you can go go to this particular class sorry that is app.config and here you can see the browser type as the one attribute for the parameter right so for this particular attribute you need to specify the browser name so currently we have specified the edge as a browser name so our script will execute on the edge browser so let's trigger one one of the test right now and which will execute on the Chrome, uh, sorry, Edge browser firstly. Then in the later, we will execute our script on the Chrome browser as well. So if you look at on the left side, Microsoft Edge is being controlled by automated test software. So this is the one difference you can observe whenever you are executing your script in the different browser. This is the one difference and the second difference is here you can see. So this is a in private in the edge browser. So whenever your script is getting executed on the Chrome browser. 
So here you will see it as a chrome and here you will see it as an incognito. So that's a simple script which will create a simple record what we are going to execute now. So now the now we have logged in into the application right now then it will go to the one of the entity then it enters some data in one of the fields and it, and it will try to save the record. Basically here it will take few seconds of time to click on the new button because already it has clicked on the contacts entity. Just wait for a few seconds, okay. Here you go, it's got clicked on new, then it is navigated to the different tab as well, then it has entered a birthday as a sum date. Then it is trying to click uh, save the record. Here you go, it has got passed. So our script is uh, working on the Edge browser. Now we will update this particular browser name as uh, Chrome so that our script will execute on the Chrome browser. Again I will go to the test explorer and I will right click on this test and I will say run. If you see here, very small difference Chrome is being controlled by automated test software and right side you can see here it is incognito. This is a simple difference you can observe whenever you are running it in different browsers. So you can try to execute your script on the Firefox browser and let me know if you have any issues while doing that. Now, now it will try to select that uh, particular application then CRM application it will select. So after login into the application, it will, it will firstly refresh the page, then it will go to the required entity. Now it will click on new button, so it will take few, sorry, few seconds because uh, it might have found multiple elements that means lot of elements lots of elements so that it has to navigate through each of the elements and once it is found it will click on that element so this is a new form then it is going to the details tab now then it is going to enter the birthday then it is trying to save the record so that's it so our test got passed, right? So this is how you can execute your script on the different browsers. If you are having any questions or any issues, please comment in the comment section. And also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.